So in this video we are gonna discuss about the dad mythicals and how they are surprisingly good mythicals. So for start, there are a total of three mythical monsters in this pantheon. Being Baby Loaned, Lontari, and Lauren. Where Lauren is not a great mythical, but she still have a massive range and decent enough attack. Though she can't be placed in the high tiers. So we move away from her. And next, we come to Lontari. And this lion is one of the greatest damage dealer in the game. He got a poisonous attack which does way too many poison ticks and that also with a crazy strong base damage. Which makes him one of the strangest mythical when it comes at sheer attacking. While for his special Lontari got a lame poison blast where every poisoned enemy gets damaged. And since poison types are always the best kind of monsters in this game, Lontari was an instant hit. And when the King in Yellow nerf happened, Lontari still did not lose his greatness as his normal attack is much more important than his special. But his only downside is his not so great range. But now coming to the last monster of this pantheon. And again, it's one of three mythicals to have an evolution. And before evolving, Baby Loaned is just a baby and can't do shit except some global stun. But after evolving, she turn into Loaned. A super crazy global attacking machine of a monster. She got 4200 as her attack and when she uses her special, all the enemies globally get damaged. Though since, she depended upon her special power. She got pretty damaged after King in Yellow nerf. But outside of that, she is still pretty. Decent. And the best thing about these mythicals is that they still only have 3 mythical, so a huge opportunity to get some more powerful monsters in the pantheon. And when they get added, it's finally going to take the pantheon to higher positions. Also, another interesting thing about this pantheon is that, even though it got added before Hindu gods, it appears after them in the monster login. The game. So it's possible that they were supposed to get added later but since they got leaked, Pixo decided to add them faster to the game lol. So in conclusion, at the time of their addition, Norse gods had just gotten added. So it was really difficult to compete with their level of power. And it was even more concerning since dad mythicals are based on an already existing game. But Pixo really outdid themselves with them. Even though they're not the best pantheon in the game and lack the potential to be the best in future. But they do set a pretty good benchmark on how to make a pantheon good. But anyways. I hope you liked this video, thanks for watching, just keep grinning and aura is mine.